Alrighty, so you may have heard that the Revenant Spear was a little bit undertuned during the beta test, and now that it's officially out, they kind of went a little bit too far in the other direction. So now it's benching like over 50k DPS, which is just completely ridiculous. So I've been taking advantage of this by using the spear in a very tanky celestial build so I can be practically unkillable while still having some lovely damage. As well as making the most out of a new relic which is completely busted right now allowing us to maintain essentially 100% quickness and alacrity completely by ourselves in the open world without jade protocols. Uh, it's basically able to solo all of the new champion mobs around the new Janthea Wilds maps which is very helpful because there's a lot of them uh, and of course I wouldn't be playing it if it weren't actually fun to play regardless of how strong it is. I've been having a blast with this build as I make my way through the Janthea Wilds so I wanted to share it with you all. Uh, I'm not taking any credit for this build by the way it's essentially just a modified version of Lord Heisen's Celestial Vindicator build that I've basically just slotted the spear into, added a stamina sigil and changed the relic. So we're going with full celestial gear, trapper runes, we camp spear basically all the time um, that has sigil of stamina and frailty. The stamina sigil is required for the build to work, the other sigil is just sort of some extra damage, you could swap that one out for something else if you wanted. And for the second weapon I like to take short bow for a bit of extra reach just if I need it but it's hardly ever used. And here are the traits that we're taking. Alright, let's go over the basic ideas for the rotation. I like to have a pretty relaxed rotation when playing an open world so I can sort of adapt a bit better. So I basically just have like a priority list of skills. Um, let's start with the spear. So the main gimmick with spear is that skill 5 is your main damaging skill. So you want to spam this skill as much as possible. And the other spear skills reduce the cooldown of skill 5 to let you spam it even more but skill 3 and 4 don't really reduce the cooldown as much as skill 2 and they are useful for their own utility so essentially we're just spamming skill 2 off cooldown and that will be enough skill 5 gives you these stacks of a unique buff that increase your damage and it stacks up to 3 so you basically want to ideally keep this at 3 stacks uh, as much as possible by spamming skill 5 there is another mechanic that gives you an extra cast of skill 5 if you swap weapons at maximum stacks of this buff. But I actually ended up getting worse DPS when trying to do this, which is absolutely fine by me because I really don't want to be keeping an eye on this tiny little buff and making sure I weapon swap all the time at the correct number of stacks. That's not fun. Um, so it's much more fun just to, to camp spear in my opinion, as well as better DPS apparently from my testing. In Alliance Dance, we just want to pretty much camp the orange one, no need to swap out to the blue one really. We spam Scavenger Burst off cooldown to maintain our quickness, and Spear of Archimorus off cooldown for more damage. Reaver's Rage can be used sometimes as a stun break for stability, and it also has a little bit of emergency CC. Then, when you're low on energy, swap to Demon Stance and immediately activate the Elite skill, Embrace the Darkness. Every other demon stance skill I basically only use for utility if needed. Banish enchantment is some boon strip. Pain absorption is a stun break. And call to anguish has some nice CC in a pull. And sometimes I'll use energy meld while in demon stance for some more energy or endurance if required. Swap back to alliance stance when you're low on energy and pretty much just rinse and repeat. Oh and be dodging the whole time as well, I forgot to mention that. Basically just weave your dodges in between all of the other damaging skills. With this stamina sigil, every time something dies that you tagged, your endurance gets refilled. So out in the open world, as long as there's a few trash mobs around, you often get basically infinite dodge hack, which, uh, which means you do more damage, get more boons, and trigger this completely busted relic of rivers more. This is where our alacrity comes from. Um, so essentially, Spear 5 and 2 off cooldown, Scavenger Burst and Spear of Archimorus off cooldown, swap to Demon Stance at low energy, and keep Embrace the Darkness going, and maybe use Energy Meld if you want. That's basically it. Pretty simple, and incredibly effective. I'm sure this is going to get nerfed at some point, um, full quickness and alacrity by yourself is so busted, so get out there and have some fun with this while you still can. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And uh, I'll see you guys 
in the next one. Take it easy, gamers.